here I am. And here you are. All right, so these guys have already been out and <laughs> they had a river otter jump on board. Is that correct? But did he bite anybody or did he stick around and well, steal Well, that's why bait? I started yelling because I thought he was going to bite his ankles. And did he leave quickly or did he steal yeah, your bait or what? we started yelling, he scampered back behind you. He was down by the motor mount. I went back there and spoke to him and he left. <laughs> I think he smelled the fish. We had a little bit of cut bait on the cooler there and he was looking for food. Yeah. I wanted him to come back aboard. I was going to feed him. Welcome to Florida. So we've added a nephew to the uh, expedition today. He's down from up north. And in case you're wondering why I don't have my mask over my face right now, it's because we're in forward motion and there's a constant wash of fresh air in my face. So let's put that to sleep and you're all the um, PC police are going, he's not wearing a mask. Well, I have a giant mask. It's called fresh Gulf air blowing in my face at five to 10 miles an hour. So not much worry about that. But you know, if I get downwind of these guys, these Typhoid Mary pestilences. I'm putting this guy on here. Where'd he go? Right here. So we're out in the uh, near Gulf right now. We're still along the Spoils Islands and whatnot, going out the With Lacucci Cut. And uh, the weather at Florida right here in mid-June is a little not what I expected. It's actually kind of cool out here because we got a little bit of a north wind and that huge gulf humidity is not with us right now so it's just beautiful here and uh, so that means since we're going cruising slowly through a manatee zone i am trolling spanish mackerel friends he's reeling in too because to, we're about to crank it up to cruise speed here so we made it out to uh, marker one on the with lacucci canal here cut and we've slowed down to five miles an hour. Got out here pretty quick at 30 miles an hour. And now we're doing the Spanish mackerel trolling routine, right? Well, you're, you're trolling for Spanish mackerel. I'm trolling for grouper. How much deeper down are you? This is a 15-foot diver. Ah. It can go down 15 feet, although we're only in 12 feet now. <laughs> so it's, it's bouncing off the bottom. Then. Which is good. Why don't you just let me do that, John? If you want, we'll roll up and I'll get you out to it. Marker 10, and we'll find structure, we'll drop some bait to the bottom, and we'll catch grunts like the crazy uh, So there's an active discussion going on about where we should go now that we Look at this have... structure. Look at that fish on that hill there. We're going okay. right over We're going right over them. Hold your rods. <laughs> we get a bite, we will circle back. Well, it's lunchtime. Well, we, we troll a little bit, but we're heading out in deeper water to some structure. Ha <laughs> ha, the magic word. So it's lunchtime. Yeah, right. Well, that's a problem, but it's a good way to lose weight, huh? Well, for some reason, we've decided we're not out far enough, so we're heading out to marker 10 of the Farge Canal. And what do you know, the land has disappeared over the curvature of the horizon. Okay, we are now at marker 10, or a little off it, on the Barge Canal, and we're in 20 feet of water. I can sort of see the bottom I can see texture down there and I've had two good solid bites so far and other people have too it's a big silvery thing and they want to man the net it's like a small oh it's a trout small trout nice trout, legal that's, trout. trout. that's legal that's a keeper bring him in 15 inches 14 inches 14 and a half. What a shame. Going back. Really? You're going back. It's supposed to be 15. to the camera here. Sorry. Yeah, two Ow! Shot my own fuck. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> There's an edit coming up. Yeah. There's my trout. 14 and a half inches. Falling half out. inch under legal. See you, buddy. And I stabbed myself with my own hook oh, during that wrestling match. Feel There's like a fish. I feel like cutting them up for bait. Well, we could if we were running short on shrimp. I know. Per perch, maybe? Perch. Uh, what do we call them? We'll we got a lot out. of them. All right. We'll figure it out. Number two fish is in the boat. 
All right, we're getting ready to anchor up and move, but as usual, we're on the bottom. Oh, wait, is it coming? Let's get a good hold of it. I'm gonna nudge forward. Uh, yeah, just be ready to drop the whole thing. Whatever you do, don't get snagged in it. Captain's gonna try to move here. He can't do it unless you give him All right. Somebody else wanna try. All right, um, I'd say hard right. Well, we're back to trolling. And let's see, where's land? Oh, land's over there. <laughs> it lands sort of below the horizon. I think I said that. Okay, my camera kind of misbehaved while I was uh, catching this here blowfish, so I only got a still frame of it. But there it is. I caught my second. And uh, toxic danger, so luckily when I, I put him overboard, he fell off the hook. All right. Oh, oh. It had stripes and everything. Did you see it? Yeah, it looked like a... What were they? Lizard fish. That's what it looked like. A lizard fish? Never heard of that. <laughs> they got teeth like a lizard. Oh, okay. Boy, I a couple of cookies. You took okay. We're, uh, we were doing drift fishing, but nothing came of it, so we're moving. The nephew's got a deep diver lure. It goes down about 15 feet. He's got the classy, expensive trolling reel. And something heavy just latched on. Got a nice one on. Tell us, John, how do you feel? Oh, yeah. Huh? The captain's got the net ready. Though. I'm going to get on the back of the boat. Yeah, we got to... Look at that. He's a big one. Whoa. Oh, that's a grouper. All right. Someone get the tape measure. It's a gag grouper. I don't think he's a keeper, though. Not a keeper. What? But he's a gag. Wow, grouper, gag. huh? Yep. Nah, he's not a keeper. What's the, what's, what's the limits on these? It's either 22 or 24. My God. Yeah, there he is. He looks like 18, 20 inches maybe. What's the what's the slot? I think he's got to be 22 or 24, but we've got to look it up. Gulf State Waters off all other counties, which was what we're in, Somebody Libby County, June hook. 1st to December 31st. Somebody get my little hook grabber. So he's got to be 24 inches. 24 inches. Okay. All right. What a man. Catching an undersized fish, good for you. <laughs> He's a baby compared to the yeah. keepers right. we caught last time. Well, don't drop the gra grabber. I don't want it to go away with the fish. Wow, look at those gills all spread out. Yeah. And away he goes. Zoom. Right. Oh, he kicked nice. He's, he's fine. One of these kind gentlemen, and I think it was that one, just lent me his fancy schmancy uh, trolling reel that I caught the four foot king mackerel last fall on and that's all we need is another eight months worth of fish in the freezer <laughs> okay here we go again trolling with the deep diver gear? no it's out of gear oh i got nothing on mine just let her back out this we'll guy probably is he's off off here's the best catch of the day the the, uh, the wife made rice krispie treats with real butter and I've been eating like one bite at a time so I don't go into a coma. All right, now we got something that weighs a lot. Whatever it is, it's out there. All right, he's coming in. Another grouper. Another little grouper. Small grouper. Oh, look at that boy. All right. Yeah. Small grouper. Of course, our social distancing has gone completely kaput here. <laughs> okay, say goodbye, buddy. First blue. So as we wrap up this mission, kind of, we're still trolling a little bit, and now we have the famous crossed trolling line problem. How's your origami skills there? Okay, look at that. It's loose now. So is that one, although it's a little tangled. We've almost got it undone. Every good tangled line needs a fourth opinion. <laughs>
thinks we're gonna clean out our live well and throw some. Yeah, he might. Fish out of it. Well, that wraps up today, and uh, we did pretty well with the fish. Uh, summer fishing in the Gulf of Mexico with this boat is a whole different kettle of fish. <laughs> kettle of fish, that's a good one. So, thank you for being with us. Good night, everybody.